Hey, War Gamers. Welcome back to the station or the channel. Whatever you're supposed to say here, I don't know. Anyway, Purple Druid presents a quick Let's Play. Tonight's Let's Play is. Drum roll, please. Mattel Electronics Dungeons and Dragons Computer Labyrinth Game. I believe this was released in 1982. Yes, 40 years ago. I've had this ever since I was a kid. I probably got this in 83 or 84 before I started high school. I do remember being a little bit disappointed in that I thought it would be more exciting and more of a different kind of game. However, once I actually started playing with a friend, uh, we discovered it was quite challenging. And there are two levels. So tonight we're going to go ahead and play level one, one player. And uh, I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the rules. It's very simple. Oh, it's turned off. Ha! Ah. Okay. So you touch these and it makes this noise so when you're marching around with your heinous little man there um, you can march like so anyway uh, it makes that noise if you run into a wall and have to stop going it makes that noise there's also a door sound And you're able to move. You're also able to get attacked by the dragon a couple times. You can move up to eight spaces unless you hit a wall. Then you have to stop and start again. When you get within three spaces of the dragon, you will hear this noise. And then after you have moved and taken your turn, the dragon will take his turn. The dragon only gets to move one. And I believe the dragon gets to move diagonally. Yes. The dragon can move diagonally and can fly over walls. Now the walls are these little pieces here. So when we hit a wall, we're gonna go ahead and drop that piece in and that will help us make our way through the labyrinth. So. We're going to choose our secret room. We'll put the little marker right there. And then we hit next turn twice for the one player game. So now we'll put our little man right here and we'll go ahead and, and start moving. All right, so there's actually a wall here because when we stepped on that space, it wouldn't let us go any further. So now it's our turn again. Let's see. Well, the dragon probably is not in any of these areas here because like I said, once you get within three of the dragon, it wakes up. So it's probably down in this area. So let's head down here. So we hit a wall. All right, that's really cool. That's gonna force the dragon to be in this zone right in here. And now we also know that we have a pretty quick way to get back. Like I said, we can move eight spaces. So let's see what happens. All right, so this is really putting a limit on where the dragon can be. He's got to be down in here. Now, we have this heinously painted thing that I did literally 35, 37, 38 years ago. Absolutely ridiculous. Didn't know anything about base coating or, I mean, I don't even know where I got those colors. I don't know if these are enamel or acrylic, whatever. In any case, it's our turn again. Let's see what happens. All right. 
So there is a wall here. Okay, so now we're here and we've just woken the dragon. So he's got to be within three of these. So he's going to be probably on one of those spaces. But for right now, I'm going to mark him as being right there. Just so we have an idea of where that dragon might be. Now, we want to lure the dragon out because he's sitting. He's sitting on this treasure piece right here. So... Let's see if we can't lure the dragon away. Oh, that's not good. So we're gonna guess that the dragon is about here. So let's try it again. the dragon is there and so what we need to do is we're gonna have to run back down here scooch over here and try to find the treasure in this area and I believe we know we can go down this way so let's see what happens oh nope I'm just going to go three and I'm going to hit the next turn button and that'll let the dragon go. And we're going to, again, we don't know where the dragon is, but we think it's there. And now we're going to go for the treasure. All right, the dragon did not get us, but I believe he's right on our tail. So, I'm going to go for the corner first and hopefully we can get back out. Got a bad feeling about this. All right, so the treasure's here. The treasure's here. This is where we are. So I'm gonna take the treasure. Now what's gonna happen? If the dragon catches us, we're gonna be dead. So that'll be the end of the game. But we did manage to find the treasure. We don't know for sure where the dragon is, but we do know the path to get back. So, I don't know if we should try to sneak through there and maybe the dragon's not there, but I think I'm going to sneak this way and try to get back at the shortest route I can back to the secret room. dragon was there and that's it that's the doom sound another dragon takes the treasure and flies back to his lair wow that's actually I mean it's it's kind of my heart is pounding I'm really excited that was really cool all right um, we're coming up on 10 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this short like I said uh, the previous unboxing video is at 900 and something views. If we can get that up to a thousand, I'll go ahead and do this live. We'll pick a time and we'll do a live stream of Let's Play Dungeons and Dragons Computer Labyrinth game. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and I'll see you soon.